Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an unboxing video. This will be my first unboxing video ever uh, but I got a d delivery here from a company whose miniatures I really like so I wanted to do a little review of them uh, as I discovered them myself basically. So the company is uh, Hassle Free Miniatures as you can see here. Um, and let me say first that I ordered this in uh, uh, for Halloween. During Halloween they had a sale at that time and I just now got it. So that is of course a very long waiting time. Um, the communication has been decent at best. I've gotten a few mails from them uh, where they apologize and explain the situation and why it's been, been delayed and they've had issues with uh, with injuries uh, of the staff and floodings and things like that so it hasn't been easy for them you can uh, you can appreciate that at least but this is uh, it's been a very long time and I haven't gotten a single rip like personal reply from them I've sent them a few emails but the, the only uh, emails I've gotten from them are like um, mass emails that they send out to all of their customers who had delays so not great um, but finally it arrived and I'm very happy for that um, so if you're gonna order from them be aware that it could take a good while to get just your, your uh, uh, things delivered um, but uh, yeah hopefully it is wor it's worth it so let's dig into this little package here So it's uh, easy to open, and we shall see here oh, one more thing. So okay, I think you can see well here. So okay, so you get some little candy stuff along side of it, which is always nice. Appreciate when companies do that. Put those to the side and then we'll see what we've gotten here. So it was so long ago that I ordered these so I barely remember myself what it was that I got. Um, we can have a little look. Yes, this looks to be uh, one of the dwarves that I ordered. A seeker typish um, dwarf. Uh, ordered him as a gift to a friend. Um, looks like a quite nice sculpt. Let's open it up. So a few bits and pieces here. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Uh, not that easy to see. Um, let me direct some more light over here. But the sculpt looks quite nice. Was a bit bit smaller than I had expected. Uh, let's see if I have I have something here on my desk that I can compare it with. So, but it's not not uh, is is thinner basically. So this is an old Empire model from Games Workshop. Uh, so he's a little bit shorter, but he's a dwarf, so he should be shorter. But he's significantly thinner. That's interesting. But looks like a nice sculpt. So we'll put that back in the bag. Next we have this little lady. Uh, Asylum Free Miniatures are known for their many female miniatures. And that is a big reason why I ordered from them. They had a lot of characters, character models for my Empire army that I wanted. So this is, will probably be a character or maybe a champion. So let's see here. sort of a Roman look. I don't know. Uh, but she's got a very nice pose. Sword. Uh, let's see. Add a sword back here. And then the shield in front of her. Uh, very dynamic. I think I will, will use her as a champion for uh, a uh, heavy infantry unit. 
So, and the sculpt looks nice. Let me have a little look here. Our dynamic fa facial expression, so it's a bit tricky to see. I think I might take some pictures at the end of this uh, to show you the details be better uh, because it's difficult to show on, on the camera like this. Next, we have a sort of caster miniatures. I don't really know why I ordered this. It's a woman in a uh, dress, a static pose. She's gonna be fun to paint up, I think. Again, the sculpt, the face is really good on this one. Um, yeah, overall, a nice sculpt. Uh, let's see here, go to this side. Yes. Now we have some resin miniatures, uh, in <laughs> double bagged. Uh, so this is a Banshee that I put myself. Uh, it's a bit darker. Let's see if I can get some better light. I should have thought of this beforehand, now everything is tumbling about, but that should be better. Yes, there we have the focus. So this looks very crisp. Oh. She's okay. Uh, really nice sculpt, and um, very sharp. I haven't tried any of the resin min miniatures before, but it looks interesting. Looks a bit bendy. I don't know. Uh, I think the yeah. Let's see the camera got messed up a bit. This is some quality entertainment right here. Me messing around with the camera. So I had to imp improvise something to hold the camera for this video. So, okay, that, now we're good. Uh, but yeah, the quality seems nice on this one. So let's put her back in the bag. And in the double bag. So you get a lot of Ziploc bags when ordering from Hassle Free Miniatures, it seems. This is also double, double bagged. Um, this, I think, is. This miniature is probably the main reason why I ordered from them. So I can't remember the name of these, but this is a. It looks so beautiful on the site, and yeah, this is amazing. So. I like my character models to have a pretty static pose, uh, at least the, the commander types. So this is will be a marshal in my army, and she's got this awesome pose just overlooking the battlefield, ready to engage if need be with her big, uh, big sword here, Zweihändler. But that looks great. So le really, really looking forward to painting her. I can go back, she goes. We'll, we'll have a look at the next one. So this was another character that I was really excited about to add to my Empire Sonstal army. Um, so this is a, a prelate. Here we have the focus. So also a female male model, uh, a bald head that I thought, thought was really cool. And then you get options for a two-handed weapon or two hammer, uh, so two hammers. Not really sure what I'm gonna use. Have to fiddle about with it a bit. Maybe wonder what I will use in <laughs> in the game. Also, might even magnetize it. Who knows? It looks like it can fit magnets in there, the smaller ones, so probably that's what I go for. Just to keep my options open. Seal that up. So a lot of models here. Uh, I 
post this. So this is the second model that I got as a gift for a friend. So this is a female seeker model, dwarf. Really like this sculpt too. Again, static pose, which I like, and I hope my friend will like it too. This was a bit different resin, which is blue, the others have been dark grey. But uh, the quality is fantastic still. Oops. Yep, that's good. Put it back in the bag. Yeah, I think this is something I got for Skirmish Campaign. Yeah, this is some sort of uh, Arabian looking fella. The Sword and Shield will be used in Skirmish Campaign as a hireling, I think. And also, yes, I could cool miniature to paint up. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. And again, the details are really sharp. Look at that. that uh, uh, that male he's got it's really really sharp yeah, that's nice so that was all the miniatures that I ordered I think and then there's one bag left with a bit of goodies and this little smile on top so I guess that's something that they <laughs> threw in as an extra maybe yeah we'll look into this because or maybe not. I don't remember. It was so long ago that I ordered this, so I don't really recall if I ordered these or not. I don't think so. No, these are definitely not something I recall. So we got a little girl here with a big sword. She looks nice. I can immediately think of a few uses for her, so very glad I got her. Um, because again, I don't think I ordered this one. Um, so that's really nice. Let's see what else we got. Another girl this time. <laughs> a bit, uh, a bit of a larger girl, but it looks like an ice sculpt again. A big hammer. Um, so. Yeah, that's nice too. This can both go into a skirmish warband, I think, in the future. Then we have some medieval kids. <laughs> oh, these are adorable. So yeah, that looks nice. These can definitely find their way into my... Uh, my armies and, and uh, warbands. That's great. Then one last little bit here. Let's see if I can see that up. Those are probably some of the smallest round bases I've ever seen too. Pretty neat. And then some sort of basing uh, bit here I think. Don't think I will have much use of this. So it's a it's a pile of rubble with uh, some skulls and some swords in it. So since it's it's round, I will probably not have that much use of it. But who knows? And you can always fit it on a larger base and work it in, into the texture of the whole base. That's sweet. So I guess these were sent along as maybe an apology for the big delay. And if that's the case, then well then apology accepted. Um, these were very nice. Um, great to get some extra bits, and it will be fun to paint up. So, um, overall, I'm very, very pleased with this delivery. These are some amazing models. The, the detail, details are really, really crisp. I can't wait to dig into these and start painting them. But I have some other project, projects I gotta finish first, but um, really, really looking forward to this. So that's good. As I said, it's um, 
uh, it was a big delay, but they sent in some some extra goodies, uh, so that's very much appreciated. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna do it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.